Hey, grade 11s, happy Monday. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I know I sure did. I had a ton of family in town and my sister got married this weekend and we had a great time. Uh, and now I am ready to get back to the grind for our last full week of summer semester, if you can believe it. So I have a couple big announcements to go over with you this morning. Please bear with me. They're all really important and require your attention, so listen carefully. The first announcement is that today is what we call full disclosure. So what that means is today is uh, the day that you need to decide whether or not you were interested in dropping the course because after today, this course will appear on your high school transcript regardless of the mark that you achieve and regardless of whether or not you pass or fail the class. So. If you've been kind of thinking maybe you didn't want to finish up the course, you're considering dropping it, you need to make up your mind today and you need to get in touch with the summer semester administration. I'll provide their contact information below. Once again, if you've been thinking about dropping the course, you need to decide by today in order to avoid having the class show up and your mark appear on your high school transcript. So for more information on this, if this pertains to you, please contact one of the summer semester program leaders with their contact information below. Uh, next thing I wanted to draw to your attention was the work cited page that was to uh, accompany your compare contrast essays. First of all, thank you very much to everyone who met the 11.59 p.m. deadline last night and got their compare contrast final drafts uh, submitted. Um, I recognize that one of the requirements for that final draft was the works cited page. However, you may not have had the information that you needed in order to complete that works cited page. So down below, I'm going to be posting a link to all the information you would need in order to create the proper works cited page for uh, any of the um, short stories that you might have read and contributed to your essay. If after reviewing this page of information, you realize that you need to make some changes to your essay or to your essay work cited page, please make your corrections, resubmit to the essay final draft Dropbox, and can you please have those corrections made by 11.59 p.m. tonight. If you have questions about how to create this works cited page properly, you know you can send me an instant message or an email, but please make those corrections as soon as possible so that I can start marking those essays and getting you your results back. The last announcement I wanted to make before we talk about today's lesson, on the right of our homepage, you'll see an announcement about the time and date of our final exam. So as I've mentioned to you in previous posts, you now have the option to either report to Alexander McKenzie Secondary School or Chatham Kent Secondary School if you would like to write your exam uh, in person, or you may write your exam online from any other place where you have access to the internet and to our D2L course. I don't have a preference, it's whatever works best for you. Regardless of which one you choose, you need to follow the link on the homepage announcement to provide information about where you plan to write the exam and to confirm that you understand the time and date on which you are required to complete your test. Again, please send me a question uh, or if you need any clarification, send me an email or an instant message about that. For today's lesson, you're going to be learning how to craft research questions that are going to help you to find the most insightful, accurate, and relevant answers. You're going to be asked to watch two videos today, a short news story about the water crisis that is affecting many First Nations reserves in Canada, and a documentary about residential schools. So some people are going to find these videos difficult to watch as they include some offensive language and some challenging content. Please remember that you can always contact me if you're finding these uh, topics difficult or you also have any of the supports that are listed on the right hand side of our homepage if you're feeling emotionally triggered by these videos. After watching the residential school documentary, you will either record audio or video of your reaction to the documentary, including how it made you feel, what it taught you, and what questions you have about residential schooling that could guide future research based on the lesson content about crafting good research questions. You're gonna follow instructions on today's lesson page to film and share your video. I'll post them to a discussion board and then I'm gonna need you to watch and comment on the reactions of at least two of your classmates. 
Again, send me an instant message or an email if you have any questions about the requirements for today's activities, if you have questions about uh, making arrangements for writing your final exam, if you have questions about creating your Works Cited page for your Compare Contrast essay, or finally, if you have questions about the full disclosure and what that means. Thanks very much, guys. I look forward to this week with you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.